proliferation of IoT devices expand the attack surface for hackers significantly. Gartner says by 2020, the number of connected devices will reach more than 21 billion. Digital car keys and house keys via secure mobile app enable seamless entry and exit into the vehicle and home. Delivery of goods via companies such as Amazon becomes easy as garage access or even trunk access in the vehicle can be done remotely. The IoT world we're living in, especially we can see from Scandinavia, which is in the forefront of the technology, is really a booming at the moment. We see everything you buy can be connected. Operators today have the advantage that they control the largest display device in the home. Once they launch smart home IoT services through the gateway, they could offer home automation add-on services such as light and room control, energy management and home security services. We believe that the consumer will get a more seamless experience by having one platform that can connect all these services because it is very hard if you have like 50 different machines at home to have one app per machine. So, so at the moment we have signed up seven contracts with operators here in Sweden. Their creativity with our platform developing services which we couldn't even think of. For example, medical services. You can see that if you put sensors in the home, then you can control and, and check if life is going on normal. If people hasn't put on the coffee machine in the morning, you can send out a message to the relatives saying that things are not normal here. So coming from the television experience to the operators, knowing that when the services get popular, there are always piracy into this. And we see the same thing now, or we foresee the same thing coming with, with the IoT services. When they get big and when they get interesting, the piracy market will try to make money on these uh, services by hacking them or, or trying to control them for, for different things. Especially uh, when it gets to the home and if it's surveillance or if it's medical things, uh, we really need to have the security in from the start. More than 4,000 business cyber attacks taking place daily and some very visible hacks in 2017 like Uber, Yahoo, Xbox 360 among others, it's easy to understand why consumers are concerned with the safety and security of their smart home. Within your home, an IoT device with vulnerabilities could be used to gain physical access and if you get in through the night Wi-Fi networks, uh, passwords are compromised. Uh, information around personal banking, health records, these can all lead to more significant breaches. A hacker will always look for the easiest way in and go after data that is valuable to him. According to a global CISO study, 80% of CISOs are highly concerned that detected security breaches are going unaddressed, while 87% of CISOs are highly concerned that detected security breaches are going completely undetected. Security is, is one of the key aspects to, to any kind of connected experience. At Indentive, we early on took contact with Iredetto, to, uh, which is a, is a strong player in the security space. We know we can rely on to, to deliver good experience, professionalism and, and strong technological solution. Adedo is deploying secure environment on a home gateway to ensure passive and dynamic security and protection of the software on the device. Critical assets such as cryptographic keys and credentials are also protected from tampering. This is important because we do not want to allow hackers to get access to the home and compromise the safety of the consumers or get access, for example, to the energy grid. And for us, security is not just about the protocols, it's also how we develop our platform. And that, that is why we have chosen to do the Erdetto Cloakware, because that's also part of the development process for us. Any device that use or manage sensitive assets, such as credentials, data, keys and IP, should be protected. This includes connected vehicles, medical devices, commercial point of sales, industrial automation tools, uh, and so on. Adedo and global analyst firm Frost & Sullivan published a white paper recently outlining that more than half of the 45 billion devices expected to be in the market in 2023 will be implemented in connected spaces. With modern day reverse engineering tools that are freely available, hackers can easily lift code from devices, use the tools to gain access to the secrets in the software, 
and create exploits. What is really important is that you, you work on an open platform from the operator side and, and also from the supplier side. So you, you get a distributed uh, way of thinking. The IoT experience is limitless because what, what we see is that the whole world will, will be connected.